Okay, so now we're on to Valley of Triumph. And this one requires a little bit of um, editing because the valley is uh, a level you have to do twice before you can collect everything. Um, it's got several sections, but only one way through is available to you the first time you play. So there was our first star. And then there's this little tunnel over here. This tunnel used to be a little bit more hidden. Now it's quite plain, plain sight. Uh, you can lose wing power in here, just like you, you lose, in, lose it in a forest. If you burn out, you will lose stars. If you crash into the ice and crash into the ground and walls too much, you will lose stars. Uh, if you lose your light, you will lose your light, then you'll lose stars if you keep on doing it. So you can see my light went down by hitting especially the ice, uh, but even the snow and the walls. So now we have the ice rink. This is the ice rink area. And we have a star here, very plain sight. There's a little chat bench. And this one, there actually are um, light creatures to help you up here if you need them. I didn't realize that, and I didn't see them this time around, but on, a, on another time I came through, I'm like, oh, there's light creatures. So uh, getting up here can be challenging, but if you find those light creatures, they'll give you some boost. And I managed to save enough light to get up here. And now I'm out. <laughs> There's candles up here, fortunately. There's a message candle space right there. And this is our um, hands on hip stance. And he is the only emote in this area. And you'll see that there's a green constellation gate barrier. Uh, and you need two emotes from Valley before you can get through it. And there's only one available to you at this point. So you have to go through the game, through the end, before you can come back here and then get through that constellation gate. You can see it right there ahead. It's a beautiful view. They've changed this level quite a bit. Um, when I first started playing, it had just changed from what it was prior and then they changed this and added this view right here which didn't used to be there uh, that what even when they redid this area now you can see the constellation gate right there that green barrier which means we can't go through I think I'm gonna go over there um, there's also another star available under the ice and it's this pool right here that looks like a pool of water but it's actually you can go into it and under the ice There's the star. The ice is very slippery. The snow is very slippery. And back up. That was our entrance. Now we're going to head over to the constellation gate and say, oops, we can't go in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit around how it makes the most sense. Since you do have to do this twice, you have to come into this area twice, no matter what. Uh, I can't go, so I'm going to have to go the other way, the other exit, which is the exit that the emote um, spirit took. So uh, we'll head over this way. And this, this uh, building and area here is the original. Uh, the second area was, the second and third areas were added much later in the beta. Um, so this is our first, this used to be an actual race. Let's have trouble lighting things. Uh, this used to be an actual race where you had the red and the blue side and uh, 
It wasn't a, a candle quest. It wasn't a quest of any sort. At the end, you simply got bragging rights, really, for being the first, for the, having them collected more of the little lights. Um, they added uh, candle quests or light quests after a while and then took them all out and added them in the races. So this is now a light quest as well, which means you get a candle at the end of it. Uh, right now, it seems to be only one candle. Um, so I'm not sure what the point of collecting all the lights is. But anyway, the idea was, anyway, to collect as many of these lights as you can, and you'd get more than a candle at the end. Uh, now it seems kind of pointless to bother with it. Uh, but anyway, this is the first, this is the original race. Most of it, part of it's changed at the end uh, from the original. The emotes are available, there are emotes on these races, both race courses. This one has one. Um, you don't actually see an emote sequence. What you see is a little blue light orb. And um, that's what you have to collect, as well as stars. There's one star and one emote on this one. The emote comes up first. And it's over in this little structure that's directly ahead of me. And this emote this has always, it's always been here. This, this one has not changed. It used to be little golden globes of light. Now it's a little blue thingy. Uh, almost looks like a butterfly. So that's our remote, and that will be the um, crossed arm stance. And so then we have to carry that down, and uh, we'll collect our star here in a second. Fortunately, this is one you don't have to actually stop to pick up. You collect it as you go, just like the first, uh, first star that we passed through. And I realized, um, because I had done different accounts for various reasons, I now have the proper, I think I now have the proper number of um, stars that you can have at this point. Uh, if I didn't update it by now, I updated it for Wasteland. So the number of wedges in my meter there is the number of wedges you would have at this point. That is such a pretty picture right there. The last star is, this is a shared part of the course, so both races share this part. So this star you'll only collect once. It won't be here the next time you run a race, uh, when you run the second race. So there's that star. And here is the stadium, arena, or temple, however you want to think of it, because it is also directly ahead anyway, is the spirit's temple, where you have to visit in order to be able to access the emotes. Now here is where I did some editing. So we're gonna collect this, finish the race. So people just popped into existence. And so you have this whole thing here, but you really don't get anything extra for it. Maybe you will again, maybe it's bugged, I don't know. I'm not really concerned about it right here, right now. So here's our remote. Like I said, this is the crossed arm stance. Fireworks. There used to be a little red blue side and had a little score. And uh, like I said, just bragging rights. And you could collect all three emotes on one trip, but you can't do that anymore. Collect one on this one and two on the other one. Now I think we're going to cut, yes, back to the ice rink. And so here we'll go through the gate we couldn't go through it before. And this is all new. This was new um, fairly recently in the beta. Not, it wasn't here too long before re uh, final release. This used to be a bear of an area where you lost lost companions all the time. It's got it's improved a little bit. Okay, so you can use birds, and there are updrafts. So this isn't as hard solo as it could be. So you, it's all, this is all very doable solo, and there are actually two emotes available here. 
and two stars. One of the emotes is a call and it is actually a light quest or a, yeah, a light quest. Um, you chase some lights. It's very hard to do, especially solo. Much easier to do with a group because many people can help you collect all the things, but I did manage to do it solo. It just took me a while. So first we're going to go around this side and this is towards the exit and there's the star right there. So I'm going to try to stop myself by crashing into the wall and then float down. And again, you don't have to actually collect this one. If you're close enough, it will collect automatically. The next one is right here as well. It's up. I see I have an updraft there that's helping me come up. And then there's all kinds of candles here if you want to collect candles. All, a whole bunch of candles in here. Uh, all over the place. It's a really neat place to explore. It's a very pretty level. People call this the or Orrery or the Citadel. The TGC calls it the Citadel. Yay, cape upgrade. Um, so now we're going to go down the opposite end. So it's, it's pretty much directly above the where we entered this area is where the emote is. And so I have to... So there's the entrance. And here's the emote. Wow! That was slick. Um, this used to be such a bear of an emote to collect. But thankfully it's a lot easier now. Uh, you used to have to drag the thing all along here. Now you can just run after it. Like so many. This one was one of the longer ones when it was that way. Well, and I, I took off the wrong direction, forgetting that I have to uh, take, I take off the direction that I'm facing rather than the camera. So... This is partly why I like to do my commentary later and edit the video so I can edit out all the problems I end up having. Um. It's nice that you can fly along to collect this now rather than have to walk the whole way. But you can walk the whole way too. It's Oh, and if you can't find where you're supposed to go, if you, if you chirp like I just did there, tap yourself to call like I just did there, you'll get a little beacon that tells you where they are. Figure out which one I'm supposed to touch. <laughs> oh, that was close. And there's another message candle spot up here too. Other one. There we go. This is the one hand handstand. Um, one of the upgrades is a two-handed handstand, I think. No, I can't remember. It's been a while. That one goes in this temple. Actually, it's going down to the other temple. It's just the closest exit it's got. Now we're going to go attempt this, and I, I did make it, thankfully. We're going to go attempt this bird call, or a manta call, manta call. And it's, when you enter the area, it's to the right. So the area, we're on the... Uh, uh, opposite end so it's to the left and it's right along the side and I'm going to have a little bit of trouble but you can see the entrance is on the right upper corner there and I went too far around so I have to go back so there's the entrance and we're going to go back this way and it's up along here oh. and there we go it's right there so I thought I had it wrong and I actually had it right. So now this one is really challenging solo. And I think I am going to cut out the bulk of it. Um, but I'm going to leave enough just so you get the idea of what you're supposed to do. And what you're doing is see the little blue beacons all around. You have to collect all these lights. And it can be very hard to do, especially when the, all of these things move. 
and I'm not the best at flying in here. So you just go through and you collect all these, and you have a timer on the left there um, that times you, you. Once that timer goes out, the whole thing resets. So you have you have only a certain amount of time. This is how how you can see it would be a lot easier to do with several people because many people can all collect these for everybody for their group. And I'm I'm not sure, but I'm not. Sh I think it's very hard to help somebody. I can't remember if you can help somebody or not. You should be able to help somebody, like if you already have it. You should be able to see them gray. But you don't see the beacon um, if you chirp, and that's a bit of a problem. So that makes it very hard. Um, as you can see, it's very hard to fly through here with all of the currents, all the air currents and everything. So this was very challenging. It took me, I'm just going to skip, and you'll see how long it took me to get the whole thing done. Pretty much finished in the nick of time. There we go. I had just a little smidgen left <laughs> of time. <laughs> but I was very happy I got it. Um, now you have to go find the place again. So you have to go find the where you left the spirit, um, which was right there, because you still have to burn him. It was really irksome, because one time I did this in beta, and this was broken. And I'm like, I just did all that work for nothing. I can't do the statue won't light. Oh. There's your manta call. And I forgot to look. You used to get mantas flying around now. Maybe you do. Maybe they're there. Giant mantas. And that does give you a, a, it does give you emote candle. So it's just like any other emote that it does give you. So there's your manta call, yay! And you need this manta call for a later place, just like you need the butterfly catcher emote to open a door. You need the manta call to unlock something else. Um, you also there's a couple emotes. Um, Pray is another emote that will come up later that you need in order to do something else. So there is a few emotes that you need later in the game to do something else, or even earlier in the game for one of them. I we went through that in, in uh, Prairie with the. Okay, so I had to cut through here a little bit. So this is this next room. This is looks just like the other one. This is the second race. I got interrupted the first time I did this so I had to do it over is why there's that funny cut there. There's nothing missing just it wasn't continuous because I had to do it again. Okay. This is a beautiful air race. Again, same thing. You get a candle at the end. Um, collecting these lights right now has no effect. Hopefully it will again. Um, and in this there are two emotes and two stars. Same thing. Little blue light orbs looking like butterflies is what you're looking for. Um, there are two of them, and it's hard to tell which is which, but the first one you see is going to be bow, and the second one you see is going to be backflip. So the first one is off to the left, and the star is to the right, and one's at the beginning of a space, and one's at the end of the space. So you just have to cut over in the midst and you'll be fine getting both of them. They're not as hard to get everything as, as it seems. Maybe the first time it's hard, but after a couple repetitions, um, it's pretty easy. So I might make it look a little easier than it is, but it's really not that bad. Um, in fact, you can stop here. So you collect this and you can stop. Then you can fly over to the other side. And the, you, all, you could kind of see it. Um, the light, almost missed, um, is right here. The winged light is right there. So we got one emote and one winged light. Winged flight. It's hard to keep track, keep up with the names TGC gives things because they change all the time. Um, winged light is a fairly new term. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so we're going to fly down here. I think this place is so pretty. Of course, the music is great, too. The music has not changed. The music has been this all along. I'm having funky flying right now. My, I'm like glidy hovery, and I have no option to switch it, so it was feeling a little wonky. So I dove down into the clouds, hoping to push it into open wings so I could fly. <laughs> Because it didn't feel like it was an open wing. It felt, like it, it felt like it was in closed wing mode, and it shouldn't be. Okay, now you can see the star, and the, there's a structure down below, which is where the emote is. Down the bottom, of this, not, not the bottom of the screen anymore. So here's that, and then the emote is down this way, and I smacked an oh no, so a little off, but there it is. Regain control and manage to get it. Smack it. I'm good at smacking into things. So now we got two emotes and two stars. And again, this next part of the slide down, this we end up on the ground. And this is eventually going to be shared with, it's the shared area with uh, the other race that we just did. I'll point out where we come together. See the beautiful view of the stadium. Arena. I took some pictures, so I'm going to make some cuts because I was taking pictures. Just continuing down the course. So the, um, you do are able to help people get these emotes. Uh, so if you get the emote with people who else, other people who need it, then that you'll all collect it. You could, I assume, collect it, help somebody collect it even if you already have it. You won't see it though. They, they will, hopefully. Not something I've tested. Whoops! Wind wall. Um, now this is all shared, and so the, the um, star is not there now because you'd already collected it. I didn't turn around to show you the, the entrance for the other race. But if you collect that star or stop by where that star is and turn around, you'll see where the other race joins. So now this is our second time going through this area. And there's two emotes. This one is the bow. And this one comes up in a quest. You want to bow at a friend or bow at somebody. So that one is also necessary for other things. And he goes to the temple. And then this one is the backflip, the second one you just collected. And his upgrade is a front flip, forward flip. And then, because things are all out of order, um, I'm going to cut back to where we were a minute ago um, to gather the star and emote that are down here. So up comes another cut back to where we were from the first race. So now Here's the star. And the emote is directly ahead, but you need to have cape power. Um, so I lost all my cape power and had to kind of go get it back in the midst of this because the emote takes you up the stadium and you need to be able to jump and I goofed. So I, I hurt myself here by 
not making, yeah, I don't have enough. See, I, I screwed myself up here. So I had to use all my power there, and now I don't have any power to get up. So I had to go fly around a bit to get up back up here uh, to get the rest of the emote. Um, so just remember to have a friend or have some cape power left when you get to that emote. And here we go. This is the cheer emote. And right now it is always available for you to see here. For some reason, it doesn't disappear after you've collected it once. So you can recollect it over and over. It doesn't give you anything to do so, but you, you can. So you can always see it, even though you no longer need it. Into the temple. Then we can follow this time. And we're back to the other one. I think, yeah, we are, because I have three emotes. Or several emotes now. So we're back to the second race. So finishing after the second race. Uh, these candles sometimes give you trouble collecting, but definitely worth collecting. It's a lot of them. Scene. And I skipped it, so that's okay. I actually had a glitch on the first one anyway, so it wasn't really worth. It played twice. Okay, and that is it. Now I'm going to take us to the flight to um, Wasteland. Uh, but that's really it for the... for the valley.